Hi gang, so today I wanted to do a freehand tutorial, just help you get this good. <laughs> no, we're gonna start off easy, we're gonna start off with really simple, we're gonna do an ultramarine. So, start off, prime your mini, as you should, paint it like you normally would with a, with a space marine. I'm just doing it kind of basic, so I'm just doing a Kalidor blue all over, and then I use Drakenhof a uh, nightshade to just give it some extra depth but paint it however you want to do it it's it's not part of this tutorial on how to paint a blueberry i did the trim really quick doesn't need much and then there you go you got a blueberry so moving on to the shoulders we're gonna have an omega on one side and an up arrow with some numbers on the other side. So the first thing you want to do with freehand is practice on paper. Work out how you hold your brush. I hold mine quite loose, like this. And then hold your pencil in the same way. Now you want to use your pencil as you would hold your brush. And like with a in with an ink pen, you only want to really put marks down in one direction. If you're putting marks down in both directions, it can get messy real fast. I will show that on the actual mini when we get there. So here I'm just drawing some circles, drawing a little omega, just having some practice. Draw some different shapes, draw some like arrows and some squares and like whatever you feel like you might need for your minis. And then I just like to go over them with paint just so I can get that motion of only painting in one direction. Try and be really gentle. I do hold my brush really lightly, really gently. You could just knock that brush out of my hand at all times. It just helps with motion control, I find. And if I've got shaky hands, then wet the more harshly you grip your brush, the more you shake, I find. That's just me. So now with this circle, I just want to show you the 3D aspect. This is kind of the shape of a, of a shoulder pad I've cut out, and if you see when I bend it like this, like if it was on a shoulder pad, the circle looks kind of squished. So if you don't want that, when you draw on your circle, make it a bit wider. So for the sketching of freehand, I always use a chalk pencil. I always sharpen it beforehand as well, I just sort of go over it with a scalpel and just sort of very gently, you don't want to break it. Um, and then you want to find the center of the shoulder pad, draw a little line, like when you're learning to draw a face when you're a kid at school. And then you want to do a horizontal line as well, just to find the center point of the, of the shoulder pad. I do tend to bring it down a little bit, just so there's less on the top curve, and it's more on the, the flatter side. So for the omega symbol, I'm going to draw a circle first. Make it a little wider, just so it doesn't get too, uh, too narrow on, when it's viewed on the side. And then on a parallel line to your horizontal stripe, you want to do the omega lines. So now I'm just using Corex White. I do water down my Corex White. It is watered down in the pot. When I get a new Corex White, I just add some water to it because I find that it's super thick otherwise. If you don't do that, add some water. You don't want it to be super thick. So these are the brushes that I use. 
I tend to use Army Painter, the detail brushes. Both of these are really good. I've had both these for a long time. They work. Um, so this is what I mean about paint. You want to do the first layer with thin paint. So that if you do do it wrong, you can just paint over it and it doesn't leave any, like, texture. You also don't really want texture too much on freehand. You want it to be as smooth as possible. So here I'm just checking the consistency of the paint on my thumbnail. And now on this side of the shoulder pad, I'm going to do it a little messy just so I can show you how to clean it up afterwards. Because one side's always worse than the other. It's like drawing a left eye and then a right eye. They're never going to match, but you can try. And you want to draw the tops of the omegas on. It's also nice having the wet paint for this because then you can move it around a lot easier. Whereas if it's thicker, it tends to dry and be a bit more chalky, I find. So now, because we did the sketch in chalk, we can just get a clean brush with some water and just scrub, gently scrub it off. It, it'll just come off, I promise. That's why I use chalk, because then if you use a pencil, it can sometimes scratch the paint underneath and you don't you don't want that. Chalk is much softer and easier. So to fix any mistakes, because I've only done like a blue with some shade, I can just go in very easily with some more of the Calador blue and just fix it up and change some of the shapes. Now for the other side, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to do a center mark. We're going to do an arrow on this side with a little 11 number on it. So we don't need the horizontal stripe because we don't need to find the center of the circle. We just need the vertical stripe and then we can symmetrically kind of sketch on the arrow where we want it to be. Just make the make it as wide as you want, make it whatever shape you want, it doesn't have to be an arrow. You can do this with a cross as well, I know some Space Marines have crosses. So here you can see how thin the paint I'm using is, and how easy it is for me to manipulate and move it around on the, on the shoulder. Just gonna try and keep it as symmetrical as I can. Just filling it in. So now for the for like black lines and like writing, I do recommend getting yourself a micro pen. This is a 0.05 millimeter fine liner, and you can just draw on top with it. I wouldn't do things like checkers with this because the ink can sometimes reflect a weird kind of red color. Even if it's like black ink, it's actually like red black or blue black or something. So here I'm just like drawing on the little thing, making it Times New Roman. And that's kind of how it is. Basically freehand is just shapes. As long as you can draw a shape, you'll be fine. I will be making another tutorial to help you see how I did this cape and just bring it up a bit more with blending and some more complex shapes. But it's just shapes. Practice on your paper, you'll be Gucci, I promise. Get yourself a chalk pencil, get yourself a little brush. Yeah, like and subscribe. See you later.